Well, here's a reasonable question to ask. Uh, is Megan really that bad? <laughs> well, look, few people have had more ups and downs in the esteem of the world in recent years than has Meghan Markle. She's consistently praised and lauded by many people, like feminists, supporters of women of color, people in show business who respect her career. And then there are those who will always oppose her because she did not fit into the royal community and, in fact, pushed back against it and in perhaps an offensive way. But there are many who change their minds from time to time. And by the way, I include myself and my wife in that. So let's look at the current state of affairs now. It keeps changing. <laughs> As of September 2021. What about those who say, yes, uh, she really is that bad? Well, first, she's a pushy American who doesn't understand and respect the British way of life. She's spoken unforgivably about the monarchy. Wow, that's a real... Con condemnation. Second, she's lied about a number of things, especially in her Oprah interview, like having been married earlier by the Archbishop of Canterbury. It's kind of silly. Uh, she has been awful to her father, not even allowing contact between him and the family, and particularly her baby, which is a really cruel policy. She's hypersensitive to the point of paranoia about her skin color. Her reaction to having been questioned about the likely skin shade of her baby appears to have been one of rage, a phenomenon uh, aided and abetted by Oprah in the famous interview. Oh dear, not too good. But what about those who say, no, she isn't that bad? Well, perhaps most important, Megan has always been an activist from her days as a young girl. Uh, it's not something she came up with recently uh, just to impress the public. Uh, secondly, she's a self-made woman. She's, a, she's made a successful career in show business. She's accumulated significant private wealth. She has a marketable skill set, unlike the family she married into. She's educated and intelligent, and the difference there too, and is able to express herself lucidly and persuasively. She, she doesn't need speechwriters. And when in London, she was the victim of absurdly rigid rules of royal rules of behavior, ones that career royalists would be willing to accept, but, but she wasn't. Well, what's my take on this? Look, I, I, I'm quite sympathetic to the pressures that Meghan experienced when living within the bosom of the monarchy. And with hindsight, it's clear that she did not handle them very well. Nonetheless, nonetheless, the conclusion's got to be uh, that she naively became involved in an unbridgeable cultural divide, a situation, by the way, that Harry should have spotted and warned her about. So there was, there was never going to be a way where a person of her abilities and ambitions was going to thrive in a family environment with such rigid rules and where permission had to be given for almost any public activity. She famously said that she would hit the ground running. Well, it was just never going to work. Uh, she's not bad. She just wasn't the right sort to be a royal wife. Well, there you have it. Uh, I guess my position on it's pretty clear. I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, please give me a, a, a like, subscribe, uh, notify, comment, and all that sort of thing. And I'll see you with the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>